try. Pretty keen to get back out there after a week off. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've trained really well this week. We had the bye week previously, and it was it was a tough loss against the Blues on that Sunday. So I think everyone's pretty excited to get back out there. How um, hard has it been to kind of keep a sort of positivity up amongst the group after a few tough weeks? Uh, it, it hasn't been that hard. I think everyone's very keen and very, you know, optimistic about trying to win. But it's it's the little detail that we have to get right, and it's good that we've had two weeks to kind of work on that. Does it help being at home as well to kickstart a, a rough few weeks on the road after this? Yeah, we've got a big couple of weeks. We've got uh, obviously the Lions tomorrow night, and then we then we head to uh, Port Elizabeth, and then on to Argentina. So. Um, <clears throat> a good game tomorrow night will really kickstart a good couple of weeks. What's been the focus, Sam? Because um, attack-wise, not scoring a try against the Blues it was pretty glaring. Do you, do you feel as though that is one area that you need to get right, the set piece? Yeah, well? yeah, yeah. The set piece was pretty disappointing, but I think not having the ball the last the last couple of weeks against the Hurricanes, we didn't have any ball in the second half, and then against the Blues, we were defending for I don't know 60, 70 percent of the game, so. If you do that, it's uh, it's always going to take to take a toll on your attacking um, your attacking style. But we've definitely worked on that, and making sure we're more clinical out of our own half, so we get the chance to attack when we get in the other half. Some new faces in there as well. I know Bernie's been doing that every week, but I don't know. Is there a feeling like there this is a time to settle on a on a side? Or I'm not too sure. I mean, the selection's up to Bernie, I guess. In that thing, we've got uh, we've got a couple of players coming back. Kyle Goodwin's coming back from a hand injury. Geordie Smile is back from a hammy injury. I mean, they're both they're both great players. That's been in our squad for, well, Kyle hasn't, but Geordie definitely has. And Benny A brings a lot of experience at loosehead as well. So I'm looking forward to them all being out there. What about um, your decision making? Have you got, did you sit back over the week off and, and look back on that first block and? and maybe things you've done differently or you're happy with how it's going? Or? Well, I generally review pretty much everything I do in a game anyway after each week and uh, there's no there's no qualms on the field about what we do. Everyone backs each each decision so that, that, wasn't, um, that wasn't really a worry but obviously I review and see what things I could do better and if there is uh, chances I can take then I'll take them this weekend. It's been sort of the things you've looked at with the Lions this week as far as where they might be vulnerable. Where they're going to be vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're a pretty good team, actually. So obviously we've got to attack them at their set piece. Their scrum's very good. Their lineout's very good. And across the park they run all day. So if we can control the ball and make sure we execute what we're doing, it's mainly about us. So we need to get our stuff right if we're going to beat them. Do you have to do extra video when you play a South African side? Because they, they obviously play overnight our time. And wouldn't be like maybe watch the Waratahs on a Friday night or a Saturday night game. Do you have to sort of do a bit extra work researching it? Yeah, it's, it's the same with every team. Like I, I watch a lot of footage, a lot, a lot of what the teams do and what they're doing these days. So um, I've had a fair look at the Lions and I think we're pretty ready for them. Benny, excited to be back in and starting this one in second? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, not too fast really. As long as I get on the field, um, from a personal standpoint, just yeah, enjoying being part of the team. So um, I roll, yeah, roll this week's to start. But um, yeah, as long as I'm part of the team, I'm whether yeah, starting on bench, I'm not too fast. So feels like you've played that many games. You know, you're sort of nearing the, uh, an incredible milestone there. Well, it does feel I've been playing a while now, but body's feeling really good. A um, couple of niggles, but nothing, um, nothing, nothing too major. So no, still, still love it, still enjoy it, and uh, hopefully got a few left in me. So you're definitely playing next year here? Oh, I'll still keep playing rugby, yeah. Still haven't sorted out where, but uh, yeah, I'll, no plans to retire anytime soon. So you're keen to stay, you just want to sort things out? Yeah. With the Brumbies? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Is it hard at the moment with, with what's going on, you know, sort of the moratorium on, on signing players? Um, no, nah, not, not necessarily. I mean, it, yeah, there is uh, some constraints. Brumbies and all the provinces have got to um, obviously slow things down and sort of wait to see where everything falls uh, with all these decisions that, you know, we thought might have been made a little while ago, but they're still dragging on. So uh, we understand that they're really, really important decisions that need to be made, and there's a lot of uh, talk that needs to happen before the AU make their make their final decision. So we've just got to be patient and, and wait. Uh, all the contract stuff will sort itself out in due course. Given you want to keep playing, I guess you know if you're not playing in Australia, overseas, uh, because you have been linked with overseas teams in the past. Yeah, but um, yeah, we're just keen to see what happens with all this. Uh, you know, with, with, with Australian rugby, I still feel there's a lot I can give uh, give back to the Brumbies and, and Australian rugby, so I'm really I am keen to stay.
So is it any a case of waiting for a coach to be appointed as well, or does that not sort of factor into your decision? No, no. I, I play the Brumbies long enough for a lot of different coaches, so um, yeah, no, that's not a factor for me.